What's up, y'all? It's your boy Regame27, and I'm back again with a brand new video. And uh, today, I just want to talk about how do I feel about this generation as a whole. Don't get me wrong, there are some games that's fun. I am having you know, a good time, you know, but overall, I feel that this is probably one of the worst generations ever as, as far as what we're getting and the bad business practices are, that we are receiving. Uh, majority of these games that we are getting is repetitive, remastered games, and we don't get um, enough variety of uh, games. We don't get um, different genres. It's like majority of these games that we are getting is that we picking up a gun, we run and gun, we shoot. That's it. We don't get enough survival horror games. We get a decent, you know, RPGs. But it's other genres that we're not getting enough. I feel that we need a little bit more action adventure genres. We need more survival horror genres. You know, I would love to have some hack and slash genre, you know, uh, games. You know, fans of Bayonetta, you know, I really love the, the game. I, that's why I'm a huge Platinum Games fan because they really they make really good games. You know, like Bayonetta, uh, Transformers Devastation Force. Then they about to make a Ninja Turtle game that I'm really hyped about. Uh, but we don't have enough of the hack slash games. It's like I say, majority of the games that we are getting is is run and gun shooters, and there's nothing wrong with it. I, I like run and gun, but I like a variety. We don't get enough cartoony games. Now I know the PS4 ones got Ratchet and Clank, and don't get me wrong, that game looks really fun. I love games like that. You know, I don't have to always play with the realistic type of games. I can actually play cartoony game that's why I'm a huge Nintendo fan I like everything you know I would love to have um, a Jack and Dexter back I would love to have Jax back I don't know if y'all remember Jax I would love to have Crash Bandicoot or you know uh, Crash Racing you know you know I, I would love to have those games back you know proper rapper you know I know the beat em up genre is dead but Fighting Force was a really good game that I loved a long time ago you know Streets of Rage won the one of the uh, all-time most favorite beat em up games. You know, I love those type of games, but I know we are in the new age game and, and everybody has focus on online these days. That's, that's another thing I want to talk about is this online um, games that we are playing. And I feel that there's not enough innovation in these games. I feel that these developers are taking the fun factor out of these games and they put basically putting in the microtransaction DLC season passes like like I can't even have fun no more because you know we we get excited on the announcement of these games and like it'd be like three months prior you know for the game to release we already hearing about fifty dollar season passes and it just just brings my joy just completely away you know it, it takes away you know so it's just stuff like that just got me to just I won't say quit gaming just going to hiatus I've been playing a whole bunch of games don't get me wrong I've been playing a lot of games but. You know, it, it, you know, it, it's kind of uh, basically we had a, a podcast last night. And we discussed that, and you know, you know, we actually we, we touched upon that topic, you know, pretty pretty good. And you know, the stuff that we were receiving this generation got me to actually play indies. I really haven't been into indie games, but there are a few really good indie games out there. I'm really enjoying. You know, there's you know, I don't always have to play big budget triple A games. That's actual indie games to play. If you're an old school gamer. Like me, if you love two uh, uh, 2D side scrollers, 16, uh, 16 bit, 8 bit games, there's plenty of them on the indie side. So I suggest you to play that if you are feeling bored with the generation. You know, there's there's a variety of games, but but uh, as far as uh, AAA games, I feel that uh, I feel that um, it's the same. It's repetitive. It's the same thing. We we don't even get really good stories no more. Uh, no more. I love a game with a good story. I, I just don't just just buy Call of Duty and and, and buy all these these other these shooter games just to go straight online like a lot of these games. No, I play the campaign mode first, then I go to the multiplayer. That's just how I roll. Majority of the times, I just like to play by myself. You know, so that's why you know that's why I see that a lot of these games that we are receiving that I feel that they don't put enough. In the campaign mode, I feel that the campaign mode be so short. And don't get me wrong, I love shooters, but I can't, I, I can't play too much. But honestly, I feel that one of the, the, the best first-person shooter this generation with a great story, Wolfenstein: uh, New World Order. That's 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 probably one of the most underrated games this generation. I love the game. 
great story. The game was hard, but it took me almost 20 hours to complete the game. It was a, it was a hard game, but I got my money's worth, and and of course I bought the DLC. You know, I, I felt that my money, was, I felt that you know the money I spent was justified. So I went ahead and paid an extra twenty dollars for the DLC, for the old blood on the Wolfenstein. Uh, you know, I think I played almost 10 hours of that um, campaign, so that, that was, I felt that my, my my money was justified. So I love stuff like that. If, if, if I'm gonna play a shooter, I love great stories. I just don't just want to jump in and just start shooting for no reason. Don't know what the hell I'm doing. You know, there's nothing wrong with there's nothing wrong with playing team death matches. You know, I play that sometimes, but that's not my cup of tea majority of times. I love games with good stories. I love innovation. I feel that we don't get enough innovation this generation. You know, that that's why people saying that this generation is, is, is boring. You know, because of basically what I'm saying. But uh, as far as this uh, remaster crap um, is, is, is going, it's just getting worse. Uh, I, I remember I read about this about a year ago about all these remastered games that we we're getting, and we, like I said, we just we just discussed this in yesterday's podcast. And <laughs> what do you know? There's another remaster collection coming our way: Batman, Arkham Asylum, and the Arkham City. That <laughs> just got announced for the PS4 and Xbox One today. I'm not sure if it's going on PC, but <laughs> it's, it's getting. It, oh my god. I swear, whenever we look back 20 years from now, uh, there is no way in hell we're going to remember this generation because this generation has been the remastered generation. Uh, we getting brand new consoles in the middle, the mid-cycle of this generation. Overall, this this generation, I would give it maybe a C, a C minus or C plus. There's no way in hell you could say this generation was better than the last generation. Hell to the no. Because last generation, we were introduced to Gears of War. Last generation, we were introduced to Mario Galaxies. You know, Twilight Princess. You know, we got a lot of great games. Red, uh, uh, Red Dead Redemption. Like, we got a lot of great games. Dead Space. Lots of great games last generation. I feel that we don't get enough this generation. It's just a generation of rehash, remake, remaster. That's it. Not enough new games. We don't get enough sequels. That's just how I feel. Too many remasters. You know, we could look back at Nintendo 64. <laughs> that basically changed the game. Look, we could look at 007. That changed that, that changed how we we view uh, multiplayer. 007, um, one of the best wrestling games of all time. WCW vs. NWO, Legends of Ocarina of Time, Mario 64. Those games we're gonna remember for the rest of our lives because it changed the game. You know, we could look back on the PS1. Crash Bandicoot. I love Rapper Rapper. I love Fighting Force, in which it was a game I talked about a while ago. Final Fantasy 7. Like, it was a lot of great games that I can go back and look at how much I enjoyed the generation. Now, what can we say about this generation? What can we remember and go back and say, man, Generation 8 was badass, man. I remember this, uh... Wait a minute. I don't even remember nothing. All I remember was just a fucking remastered generation. So that's basically what I'm saying. So I feel that this this generation is full of remasters, full of fuckery, you know, bad business practices, and we're about to get three new consoles. This, oh my god, but y'all just give me y'all thoughts and y'all opinions on how y'all feel about this generation as a whole. I know a lot of people want this generation to, to be the best because, of course, it's the current generation, and plus everybody expect expected a major leap because that's how it was from fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh generations. It was major leaps. Now everybody expected a, a big major leap, you know, from the seventh to the eighth generation, and a lot of people was disappointed. You know, I was disappointed, uh, but at the same time, I do enjoy a lot of games, but it's just at the same time, man. It's, it's like this. We don't get enough new games. If, if the remastered games is outdoing the new games, then I have a huge, huge itch issue. So, if, if you're one of those gamers that you are too bored, you're just getting pissed off, try something else. Play indies. Or go back and play some backlog of 360 PS3 games. Or if you just want to give gaming a rest, like we mentioned yesterday, 
watch TV, <laughs> watch some sports, watch some anime. I love anime. That's all I watch is anime. So that's just how I feel about it. Y'all just give me y'all thoughts and y'all opinions on how do y'all feel about this generation as a whole. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and please follow me on Twitter. And once again, this is your boy Regame27. Y'all have a good day.